Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of the items that I picked up while I was in London with my husband last week. I can't believe it was last week. It feels like yesterday, but I uh, did a little bit of shopping while I was there. This isn't really an unboxing. There's n there's nothing to unbox. Well, there is a box later on and we could talk through it. But I guess without further ado, I'll just kind of jump into the different things I got. So the first stop that we made um, on the shopping trip was uh, Chanel on Bond Street. And I primarily wanted to go to look at the different ready to wear. In my local area, if I'm gonna get ready to wear in my size, which is anywhere from like a 42 or 44 all the way up to a 50, depending on how the things fit, I have to pre-order it. Like very few items just kind of come in randomly and it's kind of an ordeal to get them. So going to a bigger flagship store, I was excited to see what they have. I met a really kind SA who brought a bunch of different items for me to try on and I ended up picking out a couple. So the first thing that I got is in this white dust bag. It came with the traditional zip up dust bag, but this is more for active storage in your closet. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen a picture of this. This is a white tweed blazer, and this is from 23B, I want to say, the retail collection. Ooh, they took the tag. You know, um, I noticed that in Europe, the that they were taking, in Europe, in London, they were taking the tags. I'm pretty sure that this was 23B. So it was, yeah, the retail collection, not the runway collection. It has... Just this like really simple lightweight tweed. It's like a very light silk lining with the chain, these cute buttons. And this is like a very traditional tweed jacket, which originally I didn't think was something that I would go for. I'll just put it on while sitting here, maybe throw it over my shoulders. This isn't really something that I would wear it with because this is maybe like traditional on top of traditional. But I would imagine this uh, with like, a t-shirt and ripped jeans, something like that, where it's like, oh, I stole my grandmother's tweed jacket and I'm wearing it in a bit more edgy kind of way. So this was really sweet. And then while shopping in the store, I noticed these perfectly matching tweed flats. So it's the same fabric. And it was just like a must have moment. So imagine like ripped blue jeans, a black t-shirt, and then this, like it's kind of edgy, cool, but still very put together and nice. And this is just such a timeless piece, really beautiful. And I'm trying, I guess I just held it up trying to face. I'm like, did I get makeup on that? So it would be a little bit of a challenge to keep clean, but just like a really nice basic tweed jacket. So that's what I, let me put it, ooh, where am I putting it? I'll put it on the carpet over here. That's what I grabbed from the new Bond Street the first time we stopped through. And then the second time we stopped through, I wanted to look at the J12 watches. I tried a bunch of them on. None of them really worked on me or looked right on me. And so I ended up picking up a different watch and I'm wearing it. See, this is like such a weird video. It's like not an unboxing. I couldn't wait to wear it, but let me show you the box that it came in. So this is a remake of a watch that came out in 1987. So it's a vintage style watch. Oh my gosh, here's like the little booklet and authenticity card. Yeah, so it's the, I'm going to butcher it. Premier, let's just call it Premier Edition um, Original Watch. It has this little leather book, and this box is the same one that came out in 1987. And so you open it, and then the watch would be in there, except for I'm wearing it. So <laughs> let me show you. And this, oh my gosh, my t shirt's gonna be my t shirt, my top's gonna be gaping all. Oh video long. So just pretend like that's not happening. Okay. So this watch has like a beautiful, like kind of bezel crystal face. It has the traditional, uh, you know, Chanel leather woven bracelet and it's plated in 24 karat gold. It has the little concealed latch here and it comes in several different sizes. So they had just gotten, this is a, I believe it's a size large 
or medium. I think it might be large. And I don't have like quite large wrists. Um, my Cartier are, I think they're 17, but I wear them higher. But I definitely needed a large for this, especially because I like to wear my watches a little bit higher on my wrist. And so it's just a simple little watch, but it's a beautiful bracelet. And the essay also included this really sweet um, traveling case for the watch. And I don't know what's in this packet. This must be silica. They wrapped the silica in tissue. Is that not so cute? Okay. And here's like a little watch. I don't know if you can see that holder. There you go. To travel with. Isn't that so sweet? So cute. Okay. So then um, the next place where I made a purchase was at the Chanel Harrods shop. And they just had slightly different stock and it was really nice there. The essay was very kind. I will say I feel like the best service was at Bond Street. At Bond Street, they were really nice to us before they realized I was going to do shopping. And at Harrods, they were nice to us after they realized I was going to do shopping. So, um, you know, there's just kind of that vibe there. After they realized I was going to do shopping, though, they were very kind and very helpful. And I grabbed this bomber jacket, which is from uh, the Cruise Collection last year, 2023. Well, this year, last year, 2022-2023, it has this really cool red button and kind of like this gold lame trim. And this is just such a wearable sort of jacket. I think where I live, it's, you know, often very cool in the evening. So just having a light jacket like this sort of windbreaker style is like very easy to kind of like throw on, wear out to dinner, all that. So there you go, there's the jacket. It's kind of more cropped at the bottom. And there's this like tiny little zipper. So you can button that, boop. I like the little pop of red. It's like very racer. But this is just like a comfy, you know, lightweight bomber jacket. I like how it's like very subtle, not really Chanel. Like if you know, you know, and if you don't, well now you do. So that was the next item. I just like, as soon as I put it on, I knew it was me. It was just like very wearable, very easy. Um, oh yeah, and here's the tag for fabric. And this is a size 44. So like I said, this is a 44, that other jacket was a 50. You know, you never really can tell with sizing at Chanel. And this is all my receipts and ribbons from opening the watch. Okay, and then the last and final place that we went was um, Van Cleef and Arpels, and the service there was so amazing. They were so kind. As soon as we walked in, you know, they were like, please have a seat, can we get you coffee, champagne, a little snack, whatever. And so of course, I had to come home with something. All right, let's go through all the accoutrement. First we have our Van Cleef and Arpels polishing cloth. It comes with so many little knickknacks. So here's a polishing cloth. Here's like the instructions on how to polish something with a polishing cloth in case you don't know. Well, now you do. Okay, let's put it all back in here. There's like so many little knickknacks in here, I swear. Okay, the next is the little um, Nissan of chocolate, du chocolate. It's like specially formulated for VCA. It's the snack that they include as soon as you sit down. So there was just an extra one for the road. I think because I was with my husband, everyone was like, let's bring out the snacks, bring out the champagne, bring out the water, bring out whatever. Okay, then this I think is the receipt in here. Yeah, that's the receipt, the butterflies. This is, they took a Polaroid picture of us with the bag after we got the purchase. So cute, me and my husband at the store. Like the security guard was legit like, we have a Polaroid camo, or do you like a purchase, like a picture to commemorate? Which is like, I don't know, is that like partially proof of authenticity? Like I was there, I bought it, here's a picture of me. All right, next we have the real <laughs> certificate of authenticity and the care booklet. 
and that's in here. And then, literally so many items. There's the travel pouch, which is a little cardboard felt suede covered thing and suede pouch, very cute. And then finally, here is the box. So let's open the box. The ribbon, VCA. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it opens nicely as jewelry boxes do. And you're about to discover if if you weren't paying careful attention <laughs> earlier, you'll see this box is empty because I'm already wearing the item that I bought, which I don't know if you could see earlier. This box is really nice though. There's like a whole, it would have been nice to have it in the box actually. I couldn't wait, I wore it out, okay? So, now that that's done, what I got was the um, five motif Alhambra um, in the onyx color. I thought that it looked best with my little stack of Cartier. And I also really liked how the onyx color highlighted, I forget what it's called, the little dot pattern. I felt like you could see it really well. And also in real life, the onyx is like very much, you can see it's like a mirror. So it doesn't look as dark necessarily in real life. And I've also, I push it up high. So you can see it's like imprinted, but I like, you know, I push everything up. So it's just like off my wrist. I don't know. Um, but the onyx is supposed to be pretty hard wearing. You hear all these horror stories about mother of pearl and how fragile it is and someone drops it and it breaks and all that. So I wanted something that I could wear more every day and stack nicely with my Cartier. And then I have this little fine jewelry, um, Gucci bracelet too. So I have my little stack going and it is so sweet. So all of those knickknacks, everything, that is everything that I bought on the trip in London. Overall, I would say the shops were really nice. I, like I said, I, we probably had the best experience at uh, New Bond Street in terms of customer service, VCA there, everything. At Harrods, I think they get so many tourists and looky-loos kind of like passing through that, you know, the sales associates kind of take a minute to warm up to you. They kind of, they kind of feel you out. Uh, so as long as you're there and you're kind and you're earnest, I think you should have no problem shopping there. And I really liked, you know, having a little bit more selection of things that would actually fit me in store. And so that was fun too. And uh, needless to say, I am a bit on Van Island uh, just with all of these bigger purchases, but I have been cooling it on purses and cycling some out ever since I got my Kelly. So at least there's that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this and otherwise I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye guys.